Hey guys, what's Cracker Lacket? Cuz Serena Burpa Gypsy. Yeah, took a shower. Woohoo! Feels so good. Um, so I shot a vid video. Say it isn't so. Um, a while back, and it had to do with like November, and it had to do with around Thanksgiving time, and um, what was coming through for so for some people, it was gonna maybe be a partner, um. And I guess I kind of thought that for myself in a, for a moment, because that's kind of what I was feeling, but it could have been somebody else's energy um, that I was picking up on. Um, hence probably why I did the freaking video, right? Okay, duh, Serena. Anyway, um, but for me, I ended up spending Thanksgiving, not alone, because I'm never truly alone, but, um, <clears throat> you know, without other uh, 3D humans around me, <laughs> I guess is what we could say. But I have my Scotty grand dog and, um, <clears throat> and all the beautiful energies that are around me. Um, so, I feel so good. Uh, <clears throat> I guess an awakening, not an awakening, but a realization, epiphanies or something that that came up, so I knew it would be something great that was going to happen. But for me in my life, and maybe as well as for some of you, that, um, you know, what Thanksgiving <clears throat> uh, really means. How God put it on my heart, anyway. Um, every day is a day to be thankful, right? Um Every day is a day to give thanks. So every day is a blessing. Um, <clears throat> and to cherish and love um, the people that is our family and that we're around. And to really take a good look into what all that means for you individually. Um, Like, <clears throat> huh? I just went on a woo. Um, what all that means to you? The true meaning of family. And <clears throat> I want to change. You know, God put it on my heart to change that because this is my way of speaking. And and thank you, God, so much because what we think, what we speak. What is in the forefront of our mind, that's where our energy goes. That's the things that we call into our reality. So, yeah, we summon. So, yeah, I'm getting words or spells. Maybe don't look at it as spells. Maybe look at it as our thoughts, our feelings, and the things we speak of is going to be our reality. So why not speak life and love? Like, okay, so God puts it on my heart. So is he teach the children, which means everything. It's passing down knowledge. It's loving one another. It's building the new earth. It's a whole thing. You know, my nonprofit organization is God's Disciples Foundation, which is everything. And it goes along with so is he teach the children. And God, thank you for that. Because I <clears throat> started this nonprofit organ. Why am I talking about it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. When I started this nonprofit organization years ago, I didn't have, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, I started a long time ago. I had no idea that at this time, I was going to say 2016, no, 2023, um, in this time, that it would have everything to do with what God is preparing me, us for. And you think I would know this shit because, I mean, I have books and shit that I bought before I even knew what crystals and chakras and all that shit was. I had bought books on all that stuff. I had no idea <clears throat> why I was buying them. I just bought them and they sat with the rest of my books, you know. And then one day I'm at <clears throat> this create group with Maya and um, all these things are coming out about crystals and chakras and Reiki and, you know, all that stuff amazing amazing energy healing and and the 
power that we possess within ourselves, the natural healing abilities and, and all the wonderful things when God made human. He made human that embodies magnificent souls, parts of God, God energy that dwells in us. So yeah, we're creators of our own world and reality. And don't we just want love and peace and harmony? I mean, I do. But in, 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 in <clears throat> that's in us, That's in us, I think, at our core is love. At our core is, is peace and harmony. That's why we feel so much discord and disharmony. Because we're not living what our soul wants us to live. And that's where these, this, this, um, <clears throat> I was 17 in 1986. Ah, that's funny. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> because we're not going by, we're not living what our soul, um, longs for. Following the path of your soul, that's what makes you feel good. That's what gives you, set your heart on fire, set your soul on fire, makes your heart sing. Do things that make your heart sing. What makes you feel good? Follow that. Where does that discord and disharmony come from? Because you're not following your soul's path. Why do you have that empty feeling like something's missing, something's lost? Because it is. God. <laughs> Why do you think going out and, and, and having buying all those nice things and having the nice house and dressing your human up with all these expensive clothes and, and blah, 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 and looking a certain way and doing all this and being like all the other humans walking around. It, some of you, you're still miserable because only God could fill that hole in your soul. You can't replace it with stuff and things. Yeah. So do things that make you feel good. How can we help our fellow human? How can we be of service? I don't know. What talents do you have? Um, <clears throat> maybe you don't have a lot of money, but maybe you're a great um, reader. Maybe you read stories really well. Well, maybe there's there's children in hospitals or, or orphanages. Do they have those anymore, orphanages? I don't know. Places, or maybe you can go to the elderly and you can read them books. We all have talents and gifts. It's thinking outside the box. You're a great storyteller. Or you cut hair. Maybe there's some elderly people and there's, there's women in battered shelters and, and there's homeless shelters and there's places people have regular needs. People need haircuts. Somebody would love to have a manicure. I know it doesn't sound like it's that big of a deal, but do these things make you feel good? What are your talents and gifts that you could share with other people? What are churches for? So get together with your churches and say, hey, we have a need in our communities. Rather than growing your church, don't you think God would grow your church automatically if you are being a servant to God how you're supposed to be rather than I'm going to ask a bunch of people for money all the time? Come on now. Praise God. All glory goes to God. Won't God take care of his people? I don't know. That was a message for somebody. There must be some people that have churches that watch me. I hope so because, you know, I'm coming to a church near you soon, baby. <laughs> I'm about to blow the lid off this shit, okay? Because uh, 
There's so many ways we can help people. There's so many ways we could help people. There's so many, and I'm talking about our our elderly. They freaking built this country. And we toss them aside like they're nothing. Children are our future. If you're anything like I was, I was a horrible person before. I was a good person, but I was horrible. I was unhealed. I didn't know so many things that I know now. Now I know. Now we make difference. Now we move forward. We've got to teach our children. We've got to get them young. We've got to take these mothers and fathers that need help. They need help. Not to be enabled but to teach them to fish, so to speak. Not catch it for them. The ones sitting there that are on the welfare program, when I was on the welfare program, how do you get out of it? You can't, it almost get, keeps you stuck in a way. People talk about, you know, going over and helping all these, I'm sorry, but the vision God has given me a million dollars, I think we could do a lot with one billion would change the whole entire world. I think with a million dollars, we could get a big start in it. The vision that I have and, and I believe with everything, everything of my human existence, and everything within my soul and everything that I am and everything that God has made me to be. I see God's vision that God gave me and why, why would it not work? It comes from the creator of all things. Yeah, Serena, you talk about all this stuff, but what is it you're doing? I don't know. I'm speaking of things, isn't that's a start, right? We speak things into existence. God has given me a vision, and that vision is grandeur. It's huge. <clears throat> I just heard this lifetime or the next, whatever. It's a start of something new. We are love evolving. We are love evolving. We're taking God's love, pure love. Because what I'm hearing, because of what? It's a family tradition. It's a family tradition that we are carrying on. And Jesus paved the way. Jesus started it. Jesus was love evolving love evolved jesus was love is love pure love it's a family tradition join the family let's carry on the tradition do you know what that is go study that go look up what jesus came for go look up what jesus talked about what <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> what Jesus is, what he represents, and then we carry on the family tradition. It's love evolving, folks. It's love. Love evolving. So let's do it. Family. Come on, family. Come on, family. Let's do this. We're all family. We're all family. I don't care if you're green, blue, orange, brown, purple. I don't care what color you are or how you do your eyes or how you want to fake lips, and cheeks, and butts, and boobs, whatever. You cut you, you're still going to bleed. Blood. You're still bone, flesh. It's a suit. It's 
the meat suit. You leave this meat suit, you'll go into another meat suit. You never truly die, it's just your avatar. Your avatar you leave. But who you are, it's magnificent. It's love. And it carries on. Have a blessed day. Namaste on this path, yo. <laughs> Have a great day. I love you. Mwah.